Hey, this is Ronnie. I didn't plan on making a video tonight, but no, my surround sound update. Uh, look how that speaker's hanging and the cover's off. <laughs> That's how they're supposed to be mounted up in the corners. If you notice this one, I don't know if I can get to it. Oh, I should turn my, there. I got hanging on screws sitting and then got it angled away from the wall. And this one was that way kind of, but I was just using this wood trim here for the ledge to hold it up. I'm not moving again because that son of a bitch fell almost all the way off. Uh, and it knocked the speaker cover off. It, it, it hung down like that and the speaker cover about come off because I just got it uh, hot melt glued on in case I blow them up. <laughs> Easier to get apart that way. And they're not pioneers anyway. Those are those twenty four dollar Walmart whatever jobs, but yeah, they're kicking ass. They ain't nothing wrong on them. But they're bouncing enough now, they're they're loosening up. And they're bouncing enough now they're bouncing themselves away from the wall. And what's funny is uh I don't think they're bouncing enough yet without the sub. I I did some testing this weekend. I want them about 60 hertz, these, and these JBLs over here, I want at 60 hertz. But they are totally enclosed in those boxes, and they're supposed to be basically, you know, trunk speakers, free air, but I don't want them below 60, but uh, these guys loosened up. They have the stro stromium cobalt magnets, and we're talking 145 watts per speaker bang bang you know thumping the shit out of everything with them plus you know my sub covers everything below 60 I got her planted low for a reason I want these at 60 these I got my mic out and plugged into my software on my laptop and uh, over the weekend and yeah I'm getting only about 69 to 71 Hertz bottom end out of these so I'm gonna have to not make a tuned port because these are sealed and I have them fully acoustically padded behind too. And now I'm probably going to drill a half inch hole in each box and see if that will drop it down to my 60 on these. The JBLs I checked, I'm, geez, probably, what, what was it? Now I got to think a minute. All right, uh, 76 to 80. Depending on the tune and how much ump we were catching on them, I want them at 60 also. So I have a feeling I'm going to have to drill a couple half inch holes in these because they got the neodymium, neo what, yeah, neodymium freaking magnets, the super high power ones, so I knew they were going to be really tight. And both these sets are, you know, basically rear deck speakers where they're in a big housing, but not free air, sealed enclosure in your trunk. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to tune them, all right, like that dumb motherfucking uh, asshole sales guys that I put that link to that video to, oh, your box is too big, fuck, what if your box is too small, <laughs> oh, shit, I, so I, I'm not making tune ports or nothing, I'm just going to ventilate them a little bit so they can travel farther, okay, that, I, I was going to make this like a really short five minute video and then uh yeah uh, to fix this problem i'm gonna have to put screws underneath the edge and have them hang out farther once i'm not touching it because it about fell off and when you're all alone and try to put all them wires back on and hold that shit up there on top of your head it's not good so i'm just leaving it it's hanging there for now i don't think it's going anywhere the angle and a dangle ain't quite right on the frequency response you know should be angled like that Angle of dangle does have a meaning to what happens in the end response, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. But yeah, I'm going to tune them. Oh, damn that. I said, uh, remind that fucker had said, oh, yeah, with them big giant subs and they travel too far down and it tears them when they bought them. What, fucking lying piece of shit. <laughs> uh, remind him of fuck. I can't make these stories up, dude. You know, okay, this is an adult story, but I already said fuck a couple times. <laughs> oh, yeah, and here's why it was falling off. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, yeah, and I got busted. I got a couple of my videos uh, pulled off of YouTube uh, because I went over over 10 seconds. They were over 15. I fucked up and I had music going. <laughs> Yeah.
and you're not going to be able to feel the bass or anything from any of this. You're only going to get the high pitch because for some reason the mic on this phone cancels all that low end out. But like I said I'm getting about 68 to 71 out of lows. And I'm getting like 78, you know, around there. Sometimes 80, depending on those. I want them both at 60. But yeah, here, here, here's the story. Oh shit! Uh, I gotta get me a smoky treat here. Yeah. Uh, uh, years and years and years ago, you know, I'm an old man. <laughs> I might as well grab a beer too. Yeah, damn smoke went out. Oh, I'm sure this is irritating a spot. Get to the story, Ronnie, okay. Uh, years and years ago, I worked in a factory, right? And uh, there was always new people coming in and out. And uh, <laughs> I'm lighting my smoke. New people coming in and out. I can't make this shit up. This is true. All right? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll get that shit taken care of, and then we'll rework it. And, uh, uh dude, uh, this hot chick and her husband started working there at the same time, and they worked in kind of same areas, but I don't know if they had open marriage or what. Everybody thought they did, by the way. She was running around. She jumped from one guy in two weeks to supervisors. And go after another supervisor's and shit. And uh, I'd show you my face. I don't have my teeth in. I don't give a shit. All right. Well, then I can't see what I'm doing. So, yeah. She she jumped from, like, one supervisor to party to another supervisor, you know. And then that's when you partied out in the country in the summer uh, on gravel roads, uh, you know, at 3 in the morning when you got off work. It was cool as shit. And uh, <laughs> anyway, I, I got all my lights on. It's dark. I have to have my lights. I'm one of them psychos. Anyway. You know, she was knocking it out with one supervisor dude for like a couple weeks. Then she'd move on to another one for a couple weeks. And I knew both the supervisor and shit, but the second one I knew really well because I was kind of a hotshot Walter supervisor guy <laughs> before I went into fab. And, you know, I, we'd bullshit and talk at work. And I said, yeah, so, <coughs> what? You the one? You, you tapped into that now? <laughs> Yeah, what, what, yeah, ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. And this chick was married, okay? <laughs> I can't make this shit up. And I'm like, yeah. All right, getting into that, I was married at the time. I didn't give a shit. I thought it was funny, you know. And guys talk, women talk, and say the same shit. Don't give me no crap about that, especially in factory. But yeah, <laughs> he's been knocking out her for a while. But then, yeah, I, I don't know. She just liked to hop around because he, he, he was what with her here and there on a couple weekends or weeknights after work and and yeah you know she's married fuck it <laughs> and I'm like well so and so the other supervisor she was nailing like three weeks ago said fucking her was like fucking a five gallon bucket <laughs> which the dude did I said yeah you tell yeah I said what that yeah hey, fucking her is like fucking a five gallon bucket yeah I'm like oh shit <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I'd, I'd tell that other supervisor that works on the other end of the plant. I said, yeah, the other son, you said she fucked pretty good. It was all right. The other dude said that <laughs> she fucked like, a, like, it was like fucking a five-gallon bucket. <laughs> and the supervisor I'm talking to, and I told him that. He goes, that's because that fucker has a pencil dick. He couldn't feel the size in a fucking toilet paper roll. <laughs> I fucking just laughed my ass off. I can't make that shit up. And now here's the kicker. They worked there about eight months and they had to leave. Apparently the husband did not know it was an open relationship. And he was a supervisor. <laughs> oh, it was funny. And he wrote in the men's bathroom, we knew who the fuck it was. Here's what he wrote. He wrote on the wall in the men's bathroom a permanent marker. I'm going to shoot. Whoever is fucking my wife and somebody else a day later took a permanent marker and wrote underneath, pal, you don't have near enough fucking bullets. <laughs> God damn, I can't make shit like that up. Everybody thought that they had an open marriage, but when she was partying, I'd been partying where she was at a couple times at night after work. Yeah, her hubby was not there. I thought he was probably out nailing some other chick while she's doing that shit. Hell no, apparently she wasn't supposed to be doing that. So yeah, they were there about six months and then they moved on. 
But that, I don't know whatever happened, but damn, that was funny. He said fucking her's like fucking a five-gallon bucket. That's because he's got a pencil dick. <laughs> and then the husband, I'm going to shoot whoever's fucking my wife. You don't have enough bullets. <laughs> damn, that's good. But yeah, I'm going to get this shit worked out. I'm going to pick and I'm going to do some tuning on them. Tuner makes a good sandwich. Like that moron fuckers. Oh, fucking box is too big or too small. Them fucking line sales fuckers on YouTube. Don't buy a fucking thing from them cocksuckers. I'll show you when I got them set right around 60 hertz where I want them. I got to do a little tinkering, but I wanted to put the screws to them for a while. Excuse my reach. Uh, having a beer. Uh, I got warm. I took a warm shower. <laughs> Fuck it. But yeah, sorry it went longer. I'm just going to show you what the fuck happened up there. And I'll take care of the speaker. The shit are all working great. My cooling fans, everything. Not a single kick out. No overheats. No more resistors coming loose off the bottom of the... It's working fine, but I need to get the response right now. But I wanted to put the screws to them for a while. So, y'all have a good one. I'm going to make sure I don't go over 10 seconds. And, uh... Yeah! Uh... Talk to, oh yeah, and I'm kind of got blood splotches. I shaved and showered. I'm going to do a review of two cheaper razors. Harry's razors. I finally got that one in the mail. And my, uh, against my Gillette Fusion, that's $20 for like four blades. But I've used for 20 years, but that's just nuts. And against the Barbasol. I'm going to do a little comparison and uh, tell you how they're working out. I've shaved with the Barbasol like six times now. And the Harry's one for like six times. And evaluate them against the super expensive cost of use freaking uh, Gillette Fusion, and yeah, I, I, I'm going to make a video about that too, go into the guts of them a little bit, a little closer, but yeah, I, I got a pure winner that's hanging right with the Fusion, but you just got to get used to it, but I ain't saying if it's Harry's or if it's Barbasol, but there's definitely a winner in my box, in my box, in my check box. I don't have a box, okay? <laughs> Well, I got a lot of boxes for speakers, but yeah. Oh, another innuendo. All right. Well, well, sorry about that. But yeah, that kind of screws up the sound in my house right now because the angle of dangle does have to do with the frequency response and the motion of the ocean that you hear. <laughs> have a good one. Keep warm. It's so freaking cold out. And it's going to be this way for the next 15 days yet. You hear that furnace running? That's that background noise. That's the sound of propane burning like a son of a bitch and my dollars going whoo, right out of my propane tank. Yep, I have to buy some more propane, I think. Oh, well, I'll make it. It'll be summer sooner or later. Then I'll have to be bitching about having to run the air conditioning all the time. All right, man. Have a good one. It's a great day. Tomorrow's a new day. You wake up in the morning, say, damn, I woke up. It's going to be a good day. That's all you got to do. Don't be down on shit. Let shit go no matter how bad it gets. Tomorrow's always a new day, man. Love y'all. <laughs> Thanks for your patience if you watch the rest of this shit. Oh, and I apologize. Like I said, for uh, getting a couple of my videos I had linked on Facebook pulled, but I went over on the copyright songs like over 15 seconds about, and they caught me and they pulled them. And they said, that's why. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. And yeah, you're going to be demonetized. I don't get any money for what I do. I don't give a shit. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I do this because it's what I like to do and try to learn people shit. So there you go, man. But yeah, if you're trying to make a living off of YouTube and using ads and all that shit and trying to make money, don't go over 10 seconds on copyright on anything or they will yank your stuff and you're demonetized for a month. <laughs> it's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I said, I just do how I do. I ain't here for money. Love you all, man. Take care. Be safe. Keep warm. I'll be back. Thanks for watching. Bye.